Hi, my name is Sai, and welcome to Momentum. To learn more about the artist's relationship with the natural world, we interviewed artist Karen Hackenberg about her paintings, inspired by both the landscapes surrounding her studio in Port Townsend and plastics she finds there on the beach. Come along as we discover Karen Hackenberg. Today we're in Port Townsend with Karen Hackenberg. Thank you for having us today, Karen. Can you start by telling us where we are today? Oh, well, we're in my art studio, well, mostly in my painting studio, uh, on Discovery Bay um, near Port Townsend, Washington. Describe what you do here at your studio. My main focus for the last 11 years or so has been um, working with the trash that I find on the beach. So I make uh, small and large series of beach trash paintings. How does your work comment on current environmental issues? Well, plastics in the ocean is a huge issue. You know, we have too many products that we make that are disposed of and that are not biodegradable. I mean, that's a simplistic version of it. Long story short, I kept finding things on the beach and I started making more and more paintings and every time I went down to the beach, I'd find another thing that was just really ironic. It was titled something ironic, like Olympic Organic. So I kind of was just following my gut or my nose and then it seemed to take life as the, our culture became very aware of it. Well, um, it's important to be concerned about this because it's certainly. going to be our future. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Can you talk about some of the stuff you found on the beach? Well, I find amazing, an amazing array of things on the beach. All sorts of toys from television series and movie series, lots of plastic bottles, shotgun, Shells, shotgun, shot wads, play, sand play toys, buoys, flippers, shoes. Um, and these are some of the things um, that I compiled into a totem. I just finished a painting of it, which is behind me. Um, and I'm calling the painting the New Colossus. I, I kind of glue these things together somewhat randomly. You know, these are things that are just stranded on the beach, much like sometimes immigrants trying to come into our country are. Incredible backstory to an even more incredible piece of art. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so how do people react to your work like when they, when they first see it? Well, a lot of people are just drawn to the detail and the photorealistic kind of beauty of what I paint. Because I, I paint the things in a kind of a luscious way. I don't show them as necessarily as trash or trash. Yeah. Um, so in a way that seduces people in to look at the image and then they kind of have to think like, well, what is going on here? And what is this on the beach? And they realize it's a beach trash. So it sort of pulls them in and kind of gives them a little jab <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, on that note, what do you recommend the people in our community to do to be more conscious about the environment? And what are some ways to do that through art? Don't buy plastic. I think we're also, in our modern days, so used to convenience and a bargain, like saving money and convenience are uh, more important to most people than uh, the environment. So I think it has to do with reframing how we think you know, like that has to be the priority. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks for watching. To learn more about artist Karen Hackenberg, visit karenhackenberg.com or find her on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time as we discover more about art here in the Puget Sound region.